Dude, Black Helmet and I have been fucking up three duo manhunts. Fucked up one, dude. Sick already now though. Fire. Send you later. Yeah, definitely send it. All right, I'm gonna go to the game chat over here, guys. All right, bro. Oh, you don't have to go to the game chat now? Okay. <laughs> His ass gonna get folded too. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Extra bag of chips. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my gosh. Grand fam, it's your boy Optimus Grand RD, and I'm back with another banger for y'all, man. Something different. You already know how I get down. All right, now do a little shot in the background. I'm in the DZ. We're gonna do this different today. So, running technician. All right, this right here is the ghost skill, man. Very lethal if you use it correctly. Might help you wipe a group or two. All right, so I am just running a Scorpio kind of tag you know enemies up not using this face to face with anybody for real okay the Scorpio if you're not familiar has septic shock on there if this is this is if you're not familiar because I see a lot of new faces playing the game all right so shooting a target applies a stack of venom which lasts for 10 seconds increased stacks adds more severe debuffs to the target one gives you poison, three gives you disorient, six gives you shock, seven, the target takes an additional 20% damage from all sources, stacks no longer increase. Duration of status effect is based on percentage of pallets hit on applying shock. Okay, for my secondary, I have my military AKM. This thing is hitting for 94.6K, max weapon damage and damage to targets out of cover with 15% health damage and measure. So the top off of the magazine gives me a 20% rate of fire increase and a 30% weapon damage decrease. All right. Now the bottom half of the magazine has a two minus 20% rate of fire and a 30% total weapon damage uh, increase. All right. If you're not familiar with the talent, that's what it does. Now I am running the TDI card here just in case I wanted to proc that extra skill tier. But with the way how the build is, I, I have the piece to run it with the six skill tier and it, the damage really didn't change. Kind of weird, not sure if that was a, a glitch at the time. Should I try it again? But I'll do it and definitely let you guys uh, know. For the mask, we are running the hollow man with max skill damage and a skill tier to take advantage of that health damage as well. All right, so when that skill hits you, we're gonna try to get rid of your armor and your health all at once. It's just, I just want it to, I just want it to drop you. I don't want you to be black barred and be no. I want you to panic. All right, that's the goal with this build. 
chess piece, my first piece of Empress International. First piece. Of course, we're rocking the glass to take advantage of that 20% damage from anything that we drop, whether it's a hive, a seeker, a drone, a turn. It doesn't matter. If you want to use this build in PvE, feel free. But it's me, so I'm using it in PvP. Holla at your boy, Ott, man. All right? For the whole storm, it's our second piece. Second piece of y'all gear. Okay, so we do get a little 10% hazard protection from the first piece, but what I told y'all about the chest piece, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is gonna give us 5% weapon damage. We got max status effect, max skill damage, and an armor core on here. Maxed out, right? Now for the backpack, and this is a tricky spot because some people might not understand it, right? But Shock and Awe is a great talent to run with the skill build as well, outside of your tech support and your, 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 your you know. Anything you want to proc some extra damage with, you shock and all. I'm not saying you can't use your opportunistic on the skill bill. I'm not saying you can't use your creeping death, because there's always going to be times for that. Sometimes you just want that maximum damage. Okay, this is our second piece. It's going to give us 10% skill damage. We got status effect maxed out, skill damage maxed out, and a skill haste mod maxed out, and shock and all, which just applying a status effect gives us a 20% skill damage increase. That's what we're looking for, okay? So I don't care about the repair skills. My only concern is rocking an extra 20% without having to worry about killing somebody. So once my hive hits you one time, once it hits you again, that's a 20 damage, that's a 20% damage increase that I'm gonna get on the second hit. Or if that hive hits you and then I hit you with a sticky, mm, sorry. You know, going to sleep. Third piece of of um of y'all gear, excuse me, is our glove. Now this gives us 40% pulse resistance. Okay, and I'm gonna learn you something here in a second. So I have a max armor core. Max skill haste and max skill damage on the glove. Okay, for the knees, this is my third piece of Empress. This gives me skill efficiency, and for some reason, it just always let the build hit a little bit different with the third piece of Empress on the skill build. Don't know, don't understand it, right? Max skill damage, max status effect. Okay, now let's discuss this mod on my chest piece. Me and some of my friends have been searching for months, months, literally, to try to find this mod, okay? And it just deemed damn near impossible. I now, at this point, have two 9.7 pulse resistant mods. Now, this is one of the things that was hindering me from posting this build, the Katana Ghost build, so on and so forth, because I want that 10% pulse resistant mod. So I'm confused on why the devs is putting us through all this other extra stuff, but then would not allow us to optimize a mod or, you know, because you, sometimes you're just going to look and look and look and you feel like you're, you're not going to find it. Okay. But even at 9.7, um, this puts me at 97% pulse resistance. It's not bad, um, especially for a skill build. So if I really wanted to, I mean, I don't really care for the skill haste as long as my skills are doing what they're supposed to do. I can then opt out for another uh, mod and put another pulse resistance just to be a fully over 100. But at 97%, it's not bad. You know, 99.7%, I'm sorry. Okay, so I can't really trip out about it. It should be 99.7%. If... I know how to add correctly. Yes, 99.7%. All right. So, yeah, man, it just, it just, why not allow us to optimize the mods? If y'all not going to drop us God will mods that we, that we need to use. So this, just because it's an RNG based game, there's people that have the mod since the first time it came out. You know what I'm saying? And you got other people that are searching for months that can't get it. And then sometimes the people that have the mods and all this other stuff that get all the good stuff sometimes they don't even play the game and or they're not even that good now i'm sound like i'm not sound like i'm complaining <laughs> but here's the stats 20 chance 55 damage 65 headshot 12 percent damage to armor uh with the shotgun while we're on that side 
and of course we're running the the, the hive right here now the thing is with the hive uh, you got to place it in a good spot sometimes you got to use it when you're uh, retreating uh, to move positions or you got to drop it uh, like somewhere on a corner where they can't uh, the enemies cannot just shoot it they'll have to try to jam it okay so that 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 creates a challenge for the other group right now this thing is in for 275 uh, PvP damage which is uh, not the greatest but it gets the job done paired with the burn sticky, which is in for 469,000 at expertise 13. Got this bad boy up yesterday. And um, I'm going to keep grinding to get those things up. All right. So that's it for the build video, man. Uh, until next time, it's your boy Optimus Grand RD. Be safe out there. Peace. And I just going to start sniping everybody. Montage, who can modify the detective? I saw that. I hit it, my sniper doesn't go off in time, bro. Just took out another one. Took out three. <laughs> hmm. Nasty with it. Bomb. He dead. Bomb. He better pop a med kit. Bomb. He dead too. Oh, this build different. <laughs> denied. Do you just deny the fucking. <laughs> Nice, nice. GG's. Even with an inverted, even with my shit inverted, I just dropped your box. Bitch. Bro, my controllers are inverted. Yo, wait until I res my boy. No, y'all, y'all already know it's two of us, bro. We in here with with eight other people. Y'all could have let me res my boy before y'all flagged up, bro. Come on, have some decency. But I understand because every time we see LHS, we farm the shit out, y'all. It's all good.